Hey, what's up you guys? It's Dorothy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go into chapter 94 of The Murder House by James Patterson and David Ellis. So let's get right into this video. This video may contain sensitive topics and foul language. If you do not wish to continue, I suggest you click off the video now. You have been warned. Chapter 94. I drive home as darkness sweeps over Bridgehampton. Aiden's still out there and while I seriously doubt he'd be dumb enough to hang around the Hamptons to take another shot at me, I take simple precautions. I lock the deadbolt and prop a chair against the door and I move the dresser against the small window. It's not much of a deterrent but at least it'll keep Aiden from doing another nosedive through a plate of glass. I almost... I have almost nothing to, in my cupboard but some noodles, so I boil some water and drop them in. Eat and sleep, Murphy, or you'll crumble like a stale cookie. But I have no appetite. My stomach is a pool of nerves and chaos. You're getting closer, Murphy. I push the plate of noodles aside, but you're not there yet. Then two things happen at once, causing me to jump from my seat. My cell phone buzzes and my doorbell rings. The phone is rickets. I punch it on while I move to the door. I look through the peephole at the man standing at my door. It's Isaac Marks, our beloved chief of police. Ricketts, let me call you back, I say, into the phone. Your boss is at my door. No, Jenna, wait. I punch the phone off, release the deadbolt, and open the door, and stare at the man who just might be responsible for the murder of eight people, including the man he replaced as chief. Murphy, Isaac says, nodding, wearing his uniform, probably did some press today on Annie and Dee Dee. Need you to come down to the substation, he says. You can talk to me right here. He takes a deep breath, grimaces, don't make this difficult, come down with me voluntarily, make a good decision for you for once in your life. You don't have anything better to do, I ask, after finding two dead bodies today. He gives me a funny look. The two dead bodies, he says, are the reason I'm here. That is the end of this chapter. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.